how many games or betas or alphas have you tried and thought like this could be something it could have been anthem hyperscape blood hunt knockout city but in this case it was an extraction shooter by sega which still sounds weird to say to this day and it didn't even get to his launch this is the could have been record of hyenas so yeah hyenas was a hero extraction shooter by sega and it was developed by creative assembly creative assembly they made Total War series, Halo Wars 2, Alien Isolation, probably some others. And it'd be five teams of three fighting NPCs and each other, get loot, get the extraction point, like the whole extraction cycle. After five-ish years of development, it was announced 2022 and it has alphas and betas. I only got to play in the last one, which was August 31st to September 15th of 2023. And after that, they canceled it. Like, they just said, we're not doing this no more. And it makes sense how long that beta was, because if it was one of them short ones, like a weekend, I would not remember it like this. And it had nine characters, or hyenas. Hiroki was a cosplayer, you just wrong some disguise timing. Commander Wright was an air control type of character with a foam gun. The pro has been bank robber with a sentry turret. Prima, crackhead with her own zero gravity suit and SMG. Doc Hotfix. The most annoying and corny character I have ever played in my life, but had a healing bot that was really good, so I mean, you know, he did his thing, I suppose. Now, Sabone, I probably said that right, but he used to be fed with a sonar strap to a sniper. Galaxia, a shotgun character with a shield that would send the bullets back at you when you shot at her. Mosey, Mr. Black Man, no socks in them sandals, but he did have a rocket on his AK. And Digits who threw out fire traps for like zone control and stuff. Yeah, I ended up playing Doc Hotfix the most. I wish I could have turned off his voice lines, but they were, they got on my nerves, but he was fun to play at least. I played him and Hiroki the most and then everybody else I just at least tried. I think my third most played probably would have been like the pro, maybe. But the different comps you could have with the characters on your team and then just on the other four teams, it made the fights vary a good amount from one to the next. And you also had the zero gravity and then the fact that the map itself was small for like extraction shooter standards normally you're on this giant map kind of looking around waiting to hear a voice and eventually you might shoot somebody but you might just get some stuff and get out but there was literally no chance of that in this game like you were going to fight people no matter what you tried and that was the main part i liked about it the fact that you just got into gunfights often whether because like and some of them were against the npcs but even the npc fights weren't bad granted i only played it for 15 days so it could have got old i'll never really know and sometimes you couldn't even realize it was a new team there until after they were like really starting to shoot you they were just like kind of teaming up with the npcs i think they're called murphs and all of that combined it kind of made it feel like a br at times especially in the open areas when you get the zero grab and everyone's just flying around that was the part of it that i enjoyed the most but like going to raid the npc bases and get the loot out of it that part was enjoyable too i liked it but the fighting other teams in the zero grab that was like the main attraction of the game and plus it had a cool art style too it wasn't just like going full-on realistic or just trying to be uh like the breath of the wild style has gotten into a lot of stuff but it wasn't it was more of like a borderlands but not as grimy i guess that's how i would describe it and had to drop i'm not gonna say it would be my main game that's still the finals especially since the new season just dropped but it would have been in rotation i mean i play x to on the side sim racers like i said of course uh, i started elden ring i don't know when that's gonna get done maybe in a year and forget the dlc i don't know when that that bro that's the future but like it would have been in rotation for sure and before i talk about why it failed just scroll down and leave a like on the video thank you now we can move on the reasons hyenas failed was it was expensive bro this game, this game was the most expensive game Sega had ever made. The last, I guess like the now second most expensive game they made was in like 98. And to make it worse, it was originally planned to be like a pay game, probably 60, 70 dollars. I would hope it wouldn't be 70, but it's probably gonna be something like that. They changed it to free to play. So then, you know, less money to gain back that 70 mil from the jump, having to do it all through microtransactions. And then the space it was trying to occupy and just the live service free to play shooters, People aren't super open to new ones, to be honest with you. Like, unless it hits top of the charts and stays there for three weeks, people don't really want to give stuff a chance, especially now. And yeah, the risk was just stacking way higher than the reward in Sega's eyes. Just a lot of money spent. They, I'm guessing they didn't think they was going to make that back, like, at all. So they just decided to shut it down. And I looked at this article from Games Industry. They talked about structural reforms. And there was probably some layoffs because, I mean, that's how the gaming industry is. Like, a lot of layoffs a lot of different studios and companies. And there's a quote from Sega's senior executives, VP and CFO. God help me out. Koichi Fukuzawa. I, my bad, bro. But he said, although the game itself was good, we decided to cancel the development of Hyenas because we did not think it would reach a quality that would satisfy our users when we consider whether we could really operate this as a competitive online game 
for a long period of time. He right, I didn't think the game was competitive, bro. I thought it was like purely for fun, casual type. And when I talk about that 70 mil, it was even worse. They said that is the most money they lost in a fiscal year ever. They said 95.7 million. So that's what they were projecting at the time that this was written, which was like around the third quarter of 2023. So I don't know what the actual number is, but more money than me or you will ever see. But if there are some other fast paced type extraction shoes, let me know. I'll try it. That was the thing I really liked about it a lot more than any others I tried. Like I tried the Cycle Frontier. I haven't played Tarkov. I never got around to doing that. I did play the Division 1. Two, I, I played a little bit, then they started stacking the DLCs, and I wasn't trying to do that twice in a row, bro. Apparently, they made everything free now, so like, I mean, cool, but like, it's kind of late. Then they canceled Heartland, like, it's a whole mess. Talking about three, it's like, you should have just made Heartland three. I had the bag and sold it, but okay, well, that aside, another game that got shut down that I was, it, it did drop, to be fair, but one that was like, looking forward to playing for a longer period of time was Veiled Experts. I made a video about it a while ago, whenever it like, really just, plummeted and then they just put out a tweet talking about it shut down made a video about that it's on the screen right now subscribe to the channel bye